it's rare for a referee to become an internet sensation for anything other than a game-changing gaffe or falling over but that can't be said of Fernanda Colombo Aliana. The 25-year-old assistant ref has been officiating in Brazil for some time, but turned heads while making a step up to the Copa do Brasil, as São Paulo beat CRB 3-0. And this Sunday she'll run the line in her Brazilian top flight match when Atletico Mineiro, who boasts former Barcelona superstar Ronaldinho, take on Cruzeiro. Fernanda is among a host of women to have recently made their way into male-dominated areas of football, and is putting in the hard yards to be recognized for more than her appearance. Just this week. Portuguese manager Helena Costa became the first female boss of a club in one of Europe's top two leagues when appointed at the helm of Clermont Foot in France. Italian official and part-time model Elena Dambini, also 25, is also on the rise in her home nation and she is predicted to officiate in Serie B, Serie A, and internationally in the future. Despite supporting the progression of women into top refereeing roles, Brazilian football hasn't exactly been a bastion of gender equality of late. Lower league side Juventus de Santa Catarina's coach Celso Tixra found himself in trouble recently for calling assistant referee Mera Americano Labes, gostoso which means tasty in Portuguese, after being sent off during a Catarinans championship game. Labes said she took no offense as she was concentrating on the game. Tixra says the comment was made by someone from the crowd. On Instagram, Labes said, beauty should pass unnoticed. I'd like for the day to come for women to be recognized for their work just like men. In Britain last November, mother of to Amy Fern, became the first woman to take charge of a first round Far Cup tie when Corby Town hosted Dover Athletic. She was also the first woman to referee in the Football League. San Massey has been officiating Premier League matches since 2011 and found herself at the centre of a sexism storm, when she was the target of some derogatory comments from then Sky Sports pundit Andy Gray.